Trying to not be jealous that we all were in Hawaii just a few minutes ago. And, uh, but she's where are the dancers? I know. I know. I know. Wait. Well, oh, Adam has to say it. Or Adam, Adam, Adam I would love if they just came, yeah. back, came by on time. <laughs> back. <laughs> but she, or at least she's making a DIY open back blazer that's going to be a great addition to your summer wardrobe. Yeah. This sure. is really this cool. is a really this is a really fun one cuz from the front you get all the basic necessities that your blazer has to offer. It's a really great piece. It can be worn anywhere. It's sort of really transitional. But then the back, you get that little like pop and sass and fashion. So and what you're fun. saying is it's business in the front. Party in the back. It is the mullet of, of clothing. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a Wonderful. good time. Um, and the idea actually came to me because I created a piece like this. I don't even know how many years ago now it was. I was on a show called Fashion Star, and I was Aww. a design contestant. And this was one of the pieces that I sent down the runway. I beautiful. created oh, these pretty. lasers, yeah, with these open backs. So on the model on the left, I wanted something a little bit more, you know, pushing the boundaries a little bit. It was a fashion show, so she's not wearing anything underneath. But then Sexy. in the white version, yeah. I put a contrast color underneath just to see that... You don't need to wear this open. You know, you can wear this, and it just brings a little bit of extra visual interest to the back of your outfit. That's very so cool. Yeah, it's really cool, and it's it's actually quite easy to do. So when you're making this, should we look for a specific type of lace? So will any kind of lace work? So the thing you want to consider is something that's going to work with your jacket. So if you know what your jacket is already, go looking for lace that is going to match your jacket. Or you can hit up your local Salvation Army or thrift store mm -hmm. and buy, like, an old lace dress. Like, I did that with this. This dress was... Four dollars at the thrift store. So look, I cut the panel off the front. Oh my goodness! But I used. I was going to use this lace. I ended up making a different jacket with it. But Eddie. this was four dollars to buy a yard and a half or two yards of lace would be, <clears throat> excuse me, a whole lot more expensive. Wow. That's a so, really great tip. Oh. So just think, yeah, think about maybe just getting a, a an old dress that you don't want or at a thrift store. Um, and then that's that's really it. That's all that you need. Well, you've got oh. to start it earlier because I saw you in here this I morning. I did. <laughs> I did. Let's take a look. So here is the basic black jacket. What you do is cut up straight up the center of the back. You actually don't need to be very precise until you get to the neckline because we're going to fold it back. So <laughs> I was like, well, I hope this works. <laughs> yeah, that was what that face was. <laughs> now I fold it back. I fold it inside so I'm creating a V shape and I just use a pin to pin all the way down and basically like, see, so I've now pinned it open. What's with the faces? Again, the faces. Yeah, yeah. I hope this, this is, is working. This is me like, I really hope this works. I only have an hour. Uh, and so I do both sides and make sure that the right and the left side match because I didn't use a measuring tape. I just matched it. So there we go. When I put it on, it created that V shape in the back. Now I want to oh, show how face. to make. Yeah. Once I got excited, yeah, I'm like, really it's happy. working. Yeah. <laughs> so now for this one, you're going to go straight one. up and you're going to use a seam ripper to remove across the back of the neckline because you want that to be clean finish so you don't just want to cut. You want to okay. actually remove the seam and open it up. So oh, now I've got the pretty. square back. That's how you create the square back. I see. So the next thing I did was take, this was actually from a lace dress. It was like a big beachy tunic. I cut a panel of it. And you're going to just pin it to the inside of your jacket. That way, the seam. I wish you guys could see the dances that Mark is doing. Right. I'm not dancing. Like, no. Why dancing? No. Can you do it just you for a moment? You, you said, you said bring the square on, back. Do it. Do it. I do was it. bringing sexy back. There it is. <laughs> Look like you were doing somewhere. The, the, somewhere your praying. children are crying. Um, <laughs> can I say, by the way, I don't know if you think the same thing, Chanel, but I actually thought it looked cool even without the lace. Open. I, know, I know it looks really cool like that. Well, the one thing that's very fun about this is you can add the lace if you want. You could add chain detail across Ooh, the back. You could idea. do anything. I would add something just because it sort of just. Billows. It like looks like bat Billows. wings or something. Yeah, it just okay. sort of flies yeah. away. And then you so, have that face. Yeah, and yeah. then you go on. Uh, cape uh, situation. Uh, <laughs> um, so I want to, uh, there's a couple things I want to mention real quick. One is, I forgot to show it in the pre-tape, but pressing your seams are really important. When you have pinned back your jacket and you've created the shape that you want, so in this case I have the V, you want to really press this. That way you have a crisp, it looks like a seam. Yes. It looks like it was made that way. So you want to press it before you pin your lace into place. Okay. It makes it a whole lot easier. Then, once you pin this into place, there's two ways that you can do this, and it entirely depends on your skill level, really. Fabric glue? No, no. Fabric glue. Fabric glue. Yeah, fabric glue is one way. That goes okay. back to okay. kindergarten. Here, yeah. why don't you try doing it? Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to show you one. Wow. I did, yeah, yeah. Don't, go. you're going to wait till the glue gets all the way to the bottom so you okay. don't have to squeeze too hard. I'm and basically just put a little bit of glue along this line. 
And since it's oh. already oh, oh, Mark. Well, I'm just he making the noise. I like guess squishing out. I'm not very crafty, everybody. You are right you, now. Look at there. Look at that's there. That's not a very quick. I hope. I hope. No, no that's good. No, you can stop there. there. We can do everybody. the next part in a second. Okay, great. So now drop it down, okay. and you could just pat it into place. Look at there. Oh. Look yeah. There, right? <laughs> that's what. Thanks. So now we're gonna right. pat it. Just so pat. this would be one version. Then once this is in place, we will flip it over. Look and cool take out the pins, Whoa. and then you'll go right along the edge, like super. Oh, on super the other tight. side. That too. way you get it. Th really it doesn't flat. go like. Cause see how it. Yeah. Can you see from there, it's sort of you know you can see oh, that gap, you don't right? Do that. Gap. So then you would do a little do. line right here. Do now the other way is the official way would be so to hand sew it. So in oh. that case, that you just want to make yeah, sure that, that you're not. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> you just want to make sure that you're not going all the way through, so that you don't see the stitches on the reverse side. So you're oh. basically gonna That's come like a this. Half stitch. Oh. I've picked up only the inside. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone through. So this is, you know, you would just basically put on Home and Family, sit in front of the TV, put on a Hallmark movie. <laughs> there you go. And just thing. stitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's easy. That's not very even easy. if you're not a, a skilled sewer per se, this yeah. is something that you can do. If you can sew a button on your clothes, you can do this. 100%. Could you do this on the flip side? Like yeah, instead so of putting then clothes. putting this uh, what do you call it? lace? Oh, you mean the lace on yeah. the outside yeah. of the jacket? Yeah, could you do yeah. that? Actually, you could, and it would look very cool. The only thing to make sure is choose a lace that has a scalloped edge. So this one here, I cut, I created a scalloped edge. So uh -oh. this could then go on the outside like uh -oh. this, and you would see that detail. Don't use the lace if it's just raw. Like, don't put it on the outside like like on this oh, side. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. So, you know, a lot of laces have that beautiful scalloped edge. Use it. Yeah, yeah. Have it sit all along here, and you'll have that great glue. Glue or hand, you'd so have to hand stitch that, or could you You could do a little bit of glue, too, but the, the holier the lace, like the more holes mm -hmm. it has, mm -hmm. the harder it is for the glue. To, it doesn't have as much to hold sure. on to. How much sure. would this cost? This is, this is, I mean, it was, what, $4 for that extra dress that I bought? Yeah. Or, you know, wow. it's it's just the lace. Sure. 